guys so I have a book haul slash in my mailbox for you I must be crazy I'm recording this on the hottest day of the year so far I've just got back from work I am a hot sweaty tired mess um but I wanted to make sure I had a video to go up for you and it was way past time that I put up a haul I'm going to show you 11 books um so excited for like all of these I couldn't wait to show you so another reason that I wanted to get a haul up as always I'll start with the books that I have received for review the first one literally um, arrived today and I've just opened it coming home from work and it's from HarperCollins and it's for um, a Divergent collection by Veronica Roth this is um, a bind up containing four novellas um and three exclusive scenes um all in four's point of view i loved four in divergent i still have to read insurgent and allegiant but i will be getting there guys i promise um so i was really excited to see this arrive when i got home from work um super excited to see his point of view but i will probably wait until i finish the other books just so that this doesn't spoil anything um, and maybe I understand a little bit more. The next one is one that I got a little while ago. Um, I showed it on my Instagram and on my Twitter page um, when I got it. It's so beautiful um, and that's Annie and this is by Thomas Meehan. Oh my god it's so beautiful. Um, Puffin actually contacted me and said we're re-releasing 20 classic children's books um, with brand new cover designs. Um, we'd like for you to pick your favourite from the list and we'll send you the copy for you to, you know, share and reread. And I actually, when I read through them, I, I said to them, I've not actually read any of these children's books. And I said, that's really bad, but I would love to read Annie. And I hadn't seen the cover or anything and this arrived and it's so beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. It's one of my favourite co covers. <laughs> Bloody hell I am tired. Covers um, is brilliant. And then the next one I got was from Mirror Inc. And it's Let's Get Lost by ADL Side. I'm not sure if I said that right. It's this one. This one caught my eye, I'm not going to lie, purely because it said for readers of John Green. Um... And it's basically about um, people on a road trip and they meet and it's just, it just sounds really, really good. It's really hard to explain, but I think it sounds really, really good. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting to that, hopefully in the summer, because I feel like it will be a really great summer read. The last book that I received for review is from Hodder and that Beatrice and Benedict. I received this review quite a long time ago. I just haven't got around to hauling it. It came out in May. Um, and it's got this absolutely beautiful cover. It's an adult book. And oh, even the back is... Oh, I keep thinking the camera's on the other side. Um, it has this really, really beautiful cover. And it's about the two characters from Shakespeare's Much Ado About Nothing. Um... It's about um, sort of their untold story, the bits that you don't see of them in the play. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting to this at some point. Um, I think it'll be really, really good. Then I felt in the mood for some classic reading. Um, I don't know why, it's just something that I have wanted to read. Um, so I ordered the Penguin English Library edition of A Room With A View by E.M. Forster. This is one I've wanted to read for a really, really long time. I'm a big fan of the film with uh, Helena Bonham Carter in it. Um, and so I decided that I would finally actually read the book and it's actually really, really thin. So I'm hoping to get to this soon. And I think I'm gonna get some more of these editions because they're really, really beautiful. The next one that I ordered is going to be an epic read. Um, like a really really epic read and that is Les Mis um, I will actually probably read the book on my Kindle I'm not um, decided yet 
but I really wanted to own this particular physical edition. I love this cloth bound edition. I think it's really, but that's how huge it is. It's going to take me a really, really long time to read, um, but I can't wait to read it. Um, I don't know if I'll like section it off and read 50 pages of it at a time. Um, I'm undecided. The next, ooh, let's have a look. The next one that I bought was Beautiful Oblivion by Jamie Maguire. This is sort of a spin off from Beautiful Disaster. It's about Travis's brother called Trenton. So it's sort of companion novels. Um, looking forward to reading it. I liked Beautiful Disaster, didn't love it but I'm hoping that the characters in this will be different and won't be my pet peeves from Beautiful Disaster won't be in this one hoping so there's that next one is one I picked up in the supermarket because I had seen how it just kept popping up on my um, subscription feed and I was really interested and I'd heard really good things and that is Hexed and this is by Michelle Cries that's how I would pronounce it not entirely sure if that's right. Um, I wish I hadn't bought this now. I wish that I had bought the beautiful US hardcover edition. Um, but what can you do? Because when you read it, these bits here are going to go white. It's that kind of paper. You can see it's starting to there. And it's just it's going to get wrecked. If I really enjoy it, I might repurchase the hardcover. I don't know. The next book is a pre-order. I'm super 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 excited about and that is The Land of Stories A Grim Warning by Chris Colfer I love The Land of Stories series um, it's absolutely fantastic I love what Chris Colfer does with fairy tales how he retells them how he incorporates and blends fairy tales so seamlessly together it's absolutely a joy to read the cover I wasn't sure, like, Ryan and I, Ryan from Ryan Reads Books, we talk about the land of stories, um, it was one of our buddy reads, um, book two was, and when this was released, he said, what are your thoughts on it? And I was like, I'm not sure, um, I don't dislike it, but it doesn't seem the same as the other two, but actually in person, I really, really like it, um, I love how they haven't cover changed them, um, they all just match. The only thing that I don't like is that this one has a Grim Warning book three on the spine. The other books don't have book one, book two. So that the only difference is that on my shelf you can see book three, whereas the others don't have that. I don't dislike this. This is brilliant if the other books had it. The fact that the others don't, I don't like that they don't match. Um, but other than that, really really looking forward to this the last book ended in such a ridiculous way that i can't wait to read this the next book that i got was one i tracked down because i wanted a specific edition of it i did not want the uk hardcover edition i didn't like it i wanted the us edition and that's prisoner of night and fog by anne blankman I love this cover. I don't like the UK one. If you um, Google it, let me know what you think. Um, but this is about a young girl. It's historical fiction. It's about a young girl and her uncle is Adolf Hitler. And so she sort of has been raised and, you know, she loves her uncle. She agrees with her uncle's beliefs that's you know just what she knows but then she meets a Jewish boy and she starts questioning everything that she's known and been told and her uncle um it sounds really really good um can't wait to read it I've been waiting to haul it because I want to get to it I have to find room on my shelves but I want to get to it and the last book that I bought um I kept seeing everywhere and I didn't really know what it was about so I looked it up on Goodreads and I thought that sounds amazing, I need that. And it's The Glass Sentence by S.E. Grove. I have however heard mixed things about it, some people have absolutely loved it, other people haven't been able to finish it. Um, but 
I loved that when this came, this is the cover here, it's lovely, you take this bit off and it's um, kind of like, see through it. and then that's you're left with sort of like a turtle bag, um, it's brilliant, I love that you see the turtle back gives basically the cover through this strange paper. I I really really like it. And what attracted me to this book was that it's set in a world. Um, it's set in 1891, almost a century ago. Ago, the great disruption threw all the continents into different time periods, from prehistoric to the far future. It remade the world that had me sold <laughs> from there the fact that different continents are in completely different time periods i thought was such an amazing idea i didn't need to read anything else about what it was about before i thought i need that <laughs> the fact that i'm i love historical fiction the fact that you could have a book hmm, that's weird a book that contains so many different historical periods i thought i need i need that in my life and the beautiful covers kind of you know sealed, sealed the deal i love this so that's my haul for this time guys have you read any of these books or are any of these books on your wish list have i added them to your wish list let me know down below um also i leave all my social media links in the description so my instagram my twitter my blog my goodreads um so you, i'm always posting pictures of books um, you'll probably see the books that I get quicker if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter because I put them up there. Um, it takes me a long time to actually get around to hauling books because I'm terrible at it. Um, but let me know in the description box below. And thanks so much for watching guys. Happy reading!